hello Roy. A uh, few other questions. Again, this, these centered around your work around AMH in polycystic ovaries. And about five years ago, you read a paper which looked at differentiating between normal ovaries, PCOM ovaries, and PCOS ovaries. AMH has moved far ahead in terms of making us understand the physiology of ovulation induction and also of ovarian stimulation. My question would be, is how do you, what do you consider as a role of AMH in PCOS? What is the role of AMH in normal physiology? And how do you use those, that understanding of AMH in polycystic ovaries and its treatment? Okay, well, let, let's start in order. Uh, AMH in, in physiology. And AMH is really the most remarkable hormone because it gets its name, anti-Mullerian hormone, uh, because it's uh, produced in utero and its aim there is to stop the basic femaleness of the fetus progressing to become male. So it's got an extremely important function in utero. So it was rather surprising that when we found that AMH uh, was produced by uh, preantral and small antral follicles in the ovary. And we said, well, you know, what on earth is it doing there? It's got a very important function because one, uh, and probably its, its main function, uh, is 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 uh, very well may be in the process of uh, egg selection, which follicle is going on to be the dominant follicle, and this is because of its uh, reaction uh, with FSH. Another uh, thing that uh, AMH does is it tries to restrict the progress of uh, primordial follicles. Uh, all the stages up to uh, preantral follicles. So that's as regards the physiology. In PCOS, because we have so many uh, small antral follicles and preantral follicles, then it's not surprising that the level of AMH is very high in PCOS patients. And this, I think, plays an integral part uh, in the pathophysiology of PCOS. One. Uh, is probably a major cause of uh, anovulation because of its opposition to the FSH action. Two, it can produce high levels of uh, LH, which also not only produces more androgens, but also uh, will be involved in the process of uh, anovulation. And three, AMH will produce more follicles which produce more testosterone so we have a circle uh, going round there uh, between AMH and testosterone. One further thing uh, which is rather surprising with PCOS is the higher the AMH levels the worse the symptoms. Now this is understandable but when you come to ovulation induction you would expect that the more follicles there are there, the more AMH there is there, it would produce a more explosive uh, reaction to gonadotrophins. Often the opposite is true. With very high levels of AMH, it is often more difficult uh, to uh, produce eggs uh, or to get the ovulation going. So this is a, a rather surprising fact. 